Pain is weakness leaving the body. Pain, uh, pain strengthens us. When we go through difficult times or something hard happens to us, pain is, pain is what's necessary to, to make us stronger. No one likes to admit that they are weak in some aspect whether they're weak in body, in mind. When we exercise, we feel pain. You exercise to prepare your body for the challenges ahead. So when we're physically strong, we can resist forces physically. You exercise your mind by using it, by studying and by learning. When our mind is strong, we are able to think things we couldn't before. We are able to solve problems. But then there's that, that last one, emotionally. How do we exercise our emotions? How do we become emotionally strong? If you think about it, it's something we don't exactly try to do. It's something that happens, something that we try to overcome in the moment, but can't really practice for. Our emotions can overwhelm us. Our emotions can change the way we think and dictate what we do. A wise man once prayed to God and told him, Lord, the Gentiles shall mock these things because of our weakness in writing. For Lord, thou hast made us mighty in word by faith, but thou hast not made us mighty in writing. For thou hast made us this people, that they could speak much, because of the Holy Ghost which thou hast given them. The Lord spake unto me, saying, Fools mock, but they shall mourn, and my grace is sufficient for the meek, that they shall take no advantage of your weakness. And if men come unto me, I will show unto them their weakness. I give unto men weakness, that they may be humble. And my grace is sufficient for all men that humble themselves before me. For if they humble themselves before me, and have faith in me, then while I make weak things become strong unto them. Strengthening your emotions is not a self-solving issue. There's a reason why we have friends and family and community, people around us. There's a reason why we're such social creatures and why we're meant to interact with one another. How do we overcome emotional weakness? Well, we don't do it alone. 